Hey everybody, uh, I've been thinking about doing a project here inside the Facebook group, and and I, I have one, I've won a big project that I just kind of want to think through, and that is the way I approach altered pentatonics. And, and I know a lot of you guys, you know, are using pentatonic scales when you solo, so you know it'd be interesting to try to utilize some uh, altered pentatonics. And I'll show you where I use them, how I think about them, how I practice them, and and you can, you know. Do with that information what you want to. So first of all, we're just going to start with the minor blues. So here's the minor blues, right? So it's going to be D minor. Uh, this is a key B minor. It's going to be D, D minor for pretty much most of it. You know, it's like the first four bars are D minor, and you know, then bar uh, seven and eight and eleven and twelve are all D minor. So we can play a D minor six pentatonic over that. So, and D minor six, in my opinion, is an altered pentatonic because an unaltered pentatonic would be one flat three, four, five, flat seven, one. So in the key of D minor, that would be a D, F, G, A, C, D. And that's standard minor pentatonic, right? So if we're going to alter it, we can take that flat seven and make it a six. And then we're going to call it D minor six pentatonic. So you only have one note to change. So that C becomes a B. So it's D, F, G, A, B, D. Right? So I would practice doing one and then the other. And until that gets pretty easy to do. And it'd be great to do that around the circle of keys, you know, so do it in F, so it's C, E flat, F, G, B flat. The B flat becomes an A. And, and I would just encourage you to do, you know, something around all the keys every day, right? So, but let's get back to this minor blues. The minor blues in the fifth, in bar five, it goes to G minor. Well, Typically, you know, beginning improvisers will just play a D minor pentatonic over the entire blues, but it's it's really sounds cool to change with the chords, right? So, so when we get to this G minor six, well, it's it's um, it's marked as six nine because it's functioning as a four chord, and it's really ascending melodic minor is a good possibility here. So when we get to this chord, we can play G minor six pentatonic. Right, so so let's just play G minor pentatonic first to get our bearing. So it's G, B flat, C, D, F, G, and the F we're gonna turn into an E. So it'll be G, B flat, C, D, E, G. Right, then the next change or the next chord change goes back to D minor. So we'll do D minor six pentatonic, one with the B in it. Then this bottom, if you're not familiar with uh, application of ascending melodic minor, this is going to be this is going to be new to you. But if you are, you know it's going to be easy. So uh, over top of this E half diminished chord, we can play G ascending melodic minor. So we're actually building ascending melodic minor off the third of half diminished chords. But it would be G minor six, which we've already played. Then this one's new, and uh, a lot of beginning and amateur players, you know, they get altered uh, dominance incorrect because it's really you can't you can't play altered dominance from a major scale. It just doesn't work. So ascending melodic minor is the world that this implies. So if we go up one half step, so if it's A seven altered you just go up one half step and build ascending melodic minor so ascending melodic minor is a major scale with a flat third so this would imply b flat major scale with a flat third so that would be b flat c d flat e flat f g a b flat so b flat minor pentatonic well let's just think about B flat minor pentatonic, like the regular one, right? So it'd be B flat, D flat, E flat, F, A flat, B flat. So that A flat's gonna be G. So it'll be B flat, D flat, E flat, F, G natural, B flat. It's gonna be a great sound. And then let's play the D minor six pentatonic. So it'd be a good idea to, to practice those. 
And I would practice them by playing the, the minor pentatonic, then the minor six pentatonic. And we're going to build a little routine. I'll do a bunch of these videos till you can get all of my altered and how I work with them over top of uh, uh, the minor blues. At the end of this video, I'll, I'll show you how I play over uh, minor blues using a variety of, of uh, altered pentatonics. It's, it's a really fun, super fun thing to do. But to practice this, I think we could just play, we could go like... So we can play up the scale like one, flat three, four, five, six, one, six. We'll do that in every measure. So here, I'll just show you what I mean. So it's D. G. So you want to do that until you can kind of see those five notes as options. And then after you, like the way I love to practice is to do something like we just did, like apply a pattern to the progression. And then the next time through solo using that, something related to what I just practiced. So here, up. Change to G. So you can like invent all kinds of different things to do here. Like, so a really easy one is just go one, two, three, one, two, three, up the scale. And maybe do that on G. And then the B flat would be the other one to practice. Right. Then I'd try to play a solo, but well, maybe practice it down first, because if you, if you just only go up, you know, it's going to be interesting. So we'll do the same thing down. And G, down. And B flat. And then try to play a solo using that motive. So I, I kind of kind of cheated. I played an E over top of this. I actually was changing scales in my mind. And I just, just after if you do this long enough, you just start to hear, you know, the notes you want to go to, which is, which is what we want. So here I'll just play one chorus uh, using all kinds of uh, altered pentatonics in this situation. So all my pentatonics that I'm going to use right now will be uh, related to the ascending melodic minor scale. I have five of them that I use, and we just did one today. So. So I'll do a video using another one sometime very soon. All right, so here I go, just. So that's a really, that's a fun sound. I mean, I, I'm only using pentatonic. I don't know that I would ever only use that, but but that's that's a really fun way to play. And uh, I'll put these uh, tracks in a in a some some format that you can download them if you want to want to do it. And uh, 
Thanks for keeping track of the channel. Uh, let me know like songs you're interested in, chord progressions you're interested in, interested in or, or things that you would like to go over because you know that, that would be fun for me. Okay, have a great day. Bye-bye.